Hey guys, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today and welcome to another fun Friday. In today's video, we are going to be completing my fun Friday binder. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, you guys, thank you so much again for tuning in with me today. Like I said, my name is Brandy Janae. I am a cash-based budgeter that uses the cash envelope system and savings challenges games to hopefully get to, nope, to definitely get to financial freedom as well as becoming debt-free. I am also a proud Air Force mom a kindergarten teacher and that will be going into their 19th year in the field of education. I am a graduate student right now and <laughs> I am a planner girl. So if any of those things sound interesting to you, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post new videos. Whew, I'm still working on that intro, you guys. <laughs> But I do have a lot of new subscribers here. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I have been seeing those numbers jump pretty good over the weekend. So thank you so much for staying here and rocking with your girl. I am a proud member of the Hot Mess Express. So if that also describes you, you are welcome here. And if it doesn't, you are still welcome here because on this channel, we are kind. We are. So I have three of the six butterfly challenges left. These are available in my Etsy shop. It comes in a bundle of six challenges, but I already completed the other three in my last Fun Friday. So if you missed that, definitely go check that out. I will link that in the cards at some point throughout this video. But these are the last three that I have left. So we are going to work on just completing these so that we can start the new Fun Friday binder, which is travel. So it is going to be a travel theme. The first one I did was the fries. The second one was butterfly. This one is going to be travel. So I do have my dashboards and then my savings challenges, which we'll go through just in a little bit because I'm going to set this binder up as soon as I finish this one. So let's see what money we have. And we don't actually have to roll any dice today because again, we're just going to literally finish this. <laughs> so... We have 10, 20, 30, and I did get extra money because again, I want this done. So we got, we just, we, we, we pulled out what we could pull out. So that was 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $55, which should be enough. We're going to start with the big boy first. And it needs 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 4, 6, 8, $30. Sheesh. All right. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, Y'all see how I just tried to like, <laughs> I keep trying to count it like it's going to change. <laughs> All right. So $30 in this one, which means that this savings challenge is now complete. So yay, we get to ring the bell. I'm going to take a dollar, put it in the ding, ding, ding challenge. And let's see what we saved. 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 76, 7, 8, 9, and 80 dollars. Sheesh. These little um these twos added up. Hold on. I'm trying to find a paper clip. Okay, there we go. So 80 dollars. Wow. And this is going to go in my completed challenge 
folder, pocket, envelope, whatever you want to call it, which is here so that I can, wait, yeah, so I can reallocate these funds at the end of the month. All right. Okay, and then we have this one, which the only one left it needed was a six. So we are going to cross that out and add $6, which means this one saved, oh man, this is a good one as well. 20, 40, 65, 75, 76, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4. $84. And I played this for probably about, I would say probably about a month and a half because I did take some time off, like an entire month off when I was doing uh, Farm Island. So I did take quite a bit of time off to do this. So... Yeah, but it does save really, really, really well. So there is that. Put that in here. Ring my bell. Add another dollar to the ding, ding, ding challenge. And last but not least, let's roll. See what we have. Of course, five. Y'all, if I have an IOU, I'm going to be so sick. <laughs> three, that's better. One, two, three. I think I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. We're going to be good. It's going to be great. Two, yep, it's going to be great. One, um, no. Let's put this three back and take the other five. And then, yes! Four! One, two, three, four. That is fantastic. I'm going to take these one, two, three, four, five and put them. Oh, well, one I'm going to put in the ding, ding, ding challenge. The other ones I'm going to put in my reserve <laughs> box for case I need it later. So we can ring that bell, pop this in the ding, ding, ding challenge, which I need to condense this. Let me see what we got while we're here because I would rather have. Yeah, that's a lot. It's gonna bust open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we can take this 10 and put this in here because this is going to get reallocated anyway, so it doesn't matter what those denominations are. I can change those later. All right. So let me put, uh, actually, let's go ahead and take this one too. Y'all didn't know y'all was getting a cash condensing video too. See, sometimes your girl likes to spice it up, add a little razzle dazzle. <laughs> Just kidding. That was totally impromptu. All right. So let's see how much this challenge saved. And we are done with that. 10, 20, 5, 30, 35, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So $58, which is also pretty incredible. I think I rang the bell already. Pretty sure before I started doing all that extra stuff, I rang the bell. I hope I did. If not, sha la 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 life goes on. <laughs> all right. So there is that. Again, also going in the binder. So yeah, I feel like this month, like I said, it's not going to be, I've said already, rather, it's not going to be as heavy as it has been in previous months, but it'll still be a decent amount saved. All right. So again, we have our Fun Friday binder. 
I typically always put blue, the bluer color in the front because it's just my favorite. But I like to give people options. So you can either keep them in, you know, double-sided like I do, and I just kind of put the money in the middle, or you can put one in the front and one in the back, or you can just use one. It's up to you. But I like options. So then we're going to put this take flight in the first part. As you can see, there aren't as many twos on this one, <laughs> which will be good. Then we have this one, salty savings. So you choose how much each icon is worth. You can either roll and save or just designate a number. It's completely up to you. Then we have this one. Again, our roll and save because I just really like doing these. And then here's another one. You can roll and choose a denomination or you can just make each little flag part, you know, however much you want it to be. And again, I am big on not really assigning very many numbers because your budget is your budget and I want everyone to be able to participate. And even on something like this, even on something like this, it doesn't even have to be a roll and save. You can literally just save a dollar six times, like whatever you need to do for your budget, you make it work for you. Like, and that goes with every single challenge. If you get a challenge like my, someone inboxed me on Etsy regarding my 50 envelope challenge. And she was like, well, I don't think I can, you know, first of all, it was like, well, what do these numbers mean? And I'm like, well, you know, typically whatever the number is, is how much you would stuff. However, comma, <laughs> You could literally put $1 in each envelope for 50 envelopes, like, and just have $50. You cross those totals out at the bottom and you save what you can save. Because ultimately, all we want to do is save the monies. That's all we want to do, save the money. So however you need to do that to make yourself, you know, work this out, do that. I don't, these could be dimes, nickels, pennies, quarters, whatever you need to do for your budget. Your money is your money. My money is my money. But that is why I like to keep my challenges without too many denominations because I want, and rules. <laughs> because typically when you give, as a teacher, I know, when you give people rules, they typically try to follow those rules and they may or may not be successful when attempting to do that. So I don't give you any. I want you to do what you need to do to save money for you. Because again, whether you have $10,000 or you have $20, we can all save. We can all save. It looks different, but we can all do it. So that is why there are no rules, no directions, no nothing, because I want people to do what they can do. Just throwing that out there. Because I do have quite a few people asking me like, well, how do I know? There is no no. There's no right. There's no wrong. Just save your money. That's the only thing is wrong is that you don't save. <laughs> That would be the only thing that you could possibly do wrong in any of the challenges that you get from me is you just don't save anything. That would be wrong. Other than that, do what you got to do for you, boo, because I love you and I just want you to have some money just in case life life's too hard and you need it because that's why I save because sometimes life life's too hard and I need the extra help. So there we go. So <laughs> this one is a roll and save. Or again, you can choose the denomination for each box. Again, whichever one goes best for your budget. And that's the same for the last one. But yeah, I just thought that it was cute for a travel theme. You know, now that we're way into summer, I know a lot of people are still traveling or you may be planning your, you know, Christmas trips or holiday trips or whatever. So I just thought this would be a fun little challenge that you could do any time of the year. So as usual, the digital item is available on my Etsy shop. I don't think I'm going to do physical this time just because it's a lot. If you really, 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 really want it to be a physical item, just leave me a comment below. But you guys, it's a lot. And now I have so many physical challenges that it's just like, I told you in the beginning all of the things that I'm doing right now. On top of typically putting out five to seven videos a week. Like, <laughs> so sometimes doing these challenges, although I like the physical products, it is very, very, very tedious and time consuming, especially when you have like the coffee boxes 
and the butterfly box and things like that because there are so many pieces so if this is something you know the if these are something that you would like to see physically print cut laminated whatever let me know but like if nobody's gonna order the physical and everybody's just gonna order the digital then i'm not even going to post a physical option because again it's just a, it's a lot so you guys will probably be seeing less physical products for me because again those boxes take forever like my butterfly box is 16 pages <laughs> So that's 16 pages to cut, 16 pages to laminate. Six, like, is, and then I double laminate. So I laminate it once, cut everything out, and then laminate it again. So like a butterfly box alone takes me sometimes 20 to 30 minutes just to get the one done. So it's a lot. Um, but I do understand that some people don't have printers and some people don't have ink and, you know, all of those things. So if you would like this as a physical product... I'm counting on you guys to leave me a comment below. If you don't care either way, then just, you know, don't. That's okay too. Like, I'm good, you know. Um, but that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I know it was very chatty. I apologize for that. I'm exhausted and I haven't finished my coffee yet. So I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to rest because I'm tired. But you guys have a wonderful weekend and amazing Friday. Be safe. Be kind or be quiet and be well and I'll catch you in the next one.